Oakhart Drag Avenue, the sun is just going down. And you'll see here, there are Hiluxes. And then if you look over in the garages, there are dozens of Hiluxes. And I'm here for Racing Mania. This is Toyota's big drag racing festival. You can see here, Riva Racing Mania. It's gonna be all Hiluxes tonight with some vans and other stuff thrown in. A sexy car wash for sure. A car show, which I'm gonna show you in a minute as well. But mainly, it's gonna be these drag racing. Now, at the moment, we are qualifying for three trucks. Toyota put this festival on. This is the second round. It went to Songkla a few weeks ago, a thousand kilometers south, so I didn't go to that. But I wanted to show you this festival, really, show you what goes on. Because Toyota are the big boys in Thailand. They dominate the market. And their Hilux is the biggest selling pickup. And Toyota know how the game is played. They put on the events that the fans want, that connects their brand with people. And Thai people love drag racing Hiluxes. They join the dots with the customers. And this is a cool festival. It's gonna be all sorts of stuff going on tonight, as well as drag racing a lot of Hiluxes. We're gonna be drag racing vans as well, and I absolutely love that. So, just gonna kind of show you what's going on. But first of all, I'm gonna nip over the paddock, show you what's happening there, and then trying to show you some of the complete open class trucks because they are mental. The engineering and the expense on them is crazy. So I'm gonna go over there, show you them, explain a little bit about that. Then we'll hit back and we'll watch the drag racing unfold. This might look like the world's biggest shisha pipe, but this is actually the air intake for that open truck behind. And it forces that massive amount of air straight in from the front, pushes it down and straight into the turbo. There is nothing in between. In these trucks, the air comes in in a straight line, goes straight into the turbo. There is no messing around with the open class here. My first stop in the paddock is with the boys from STM Udon Thani. One reason for stopping here first is I need coffee to keep me going, I need water to hydrate. These guys have always got plenty of that. But also, if you watch my video from Sudup, you saw I focused a bit on them. And these guys are absolutely a top crack outfit. So I want to see how they're getting on because they're going to be looking to be winning today. They haven't come for P2, but they are in a big race against time because they've got a qualifying run coming up and they have got problems. They are putting this thing back together at rapid pace. Look at the back of this machine with this wing here, all this alloy, all this back built up, the tanks here to weight balance, the cooling in the middle. This is a seriously built up machine. Now the open class is pretty much open, but I'm gonna come over here and stand by this machine because I wanna tell you a little bit about the regulations here, how open it is. But these STM boys are right in the zone busy, so I don't wanna get in the way. This truck is sitting pretty quiet. So we can have a look. Now basically the open class, I don't know the regulations perfectly, but it's pretty much open. There are a few restrictions you have you have to use the Toyota engine. But the capacity is open and you can only run a single turbo. But when it comes to a single turbo, man, they are not talking about small ones. The size is open and you can see the exhaust pipe. Now for the open class, you can build a half frame machine. But what you have to do is you have to keep the chassis member and you have to keep the strut towers as stock but the rest of it you can change around. Pretty much everything is open. I mean, some things like the steering rack, they keep them stock because there's no need to change that on a drag car. But pretty much everything is developed. The minimum weight is 1,100 kilograms. And again, wheels and tires are open. So you're gonna see a lot of different sizes. People really going to extreme lengths in the size of wheels and tires and the track again is open. Everyone's going for different solutions to get the maximum power out and I really like that. And if you look at this car, the solutions with the air intake, with these ghost outpipes, 
It's completely different. Everyone is coming up with their own solution and that makes it really interesting. One of the things I really like is the drag race, the vans here. Normally these vans, they are all over Thailand and they're used to ferry people around. They're the small bus end of the scale, but they love to drag them here and they love to build them for dragging. When you see these things go down the strip, it is absolutely mental. You can see that is an ambulance. And so is this one. But tonight, they are drag racing. And I really love the minivan drag. I think it's just so cool the way they build these up and go racing with them. Go street racing, go drag racing. Everything that you can get out of a van. And I mean, I'll just stop here. It's got a carbon fiber bonnet on it. Look at the coolest stuck in there. That is mental. Look at this van here. These guys are underneath it working on it. But I'm just going to show you one detail on this because we look at this. It's running on 18 inch wedge sport rims. It's got six pop Brembo's and it's got massive cross drilled and vented discs and bells. This is no ordinary van, but it's still got a second row of seats in the back, although the rest has been balled out. This is an ambulance. And look at the cooler and the pipes on the front of that. Tonight, this is going drag racing. What I really like as well is the way they paint out the underside of the bonnet. So when they lift it up, there's a whole identity of the team on there. And you can see this is running in turbo modified three liter. And it's not just stopped there. People detail the engine bays amazingly. You can see the cam cover the master cylinder they're wrapped in a matching livery and the detailing in here is amazing this is brand new build truck it is sparkling new and it's been absolutely beautifully done carbon mirrors on it i'm just going to show you the back because really nicely done again you can see how it's all been built out here and we've got this roof spoiler coming off the back here big logo in the middle and then the back end again this is beautifully detailed out all done all machined out so before the action kicks off and the light fades as well i'm just going to show you in the show area because toyota really put on the show so got a lot of show trucks here and look at this fortuna here carbon fiber doors carbon fiber trims everywhere carbon fiber bonnet and this huge intake on the front and this is a road car big turbo all going on and again here we have got more carbon fiber more big turbos more intakes different colors and these are beautifully detailed and that's what i really like here as well the workmanship and the craftsmanship and the detailing that goes into these trucks is absolutely amazing and what i said to you about the bonnets as well i mean look at this bonnet that's pretty crazy and then you look inside man that is just so much going on you could look at that for half an hour if you haven't seen this before this is the toyota hilux champ it's like a mini hilux it sits below the hilux it's a cheap entry version that basically people can use as a flatbed people can convert into different things like food trucks it's also got a 2.4 diesel in it so it's going to pull along plenty of weight when you fit that out if you're doing engineering or something like that and it's really distinct it's just for the ASEAN market but it's nice and it's chunky and then I kind of like all these details these rugged details it kind of feels a bit like World War II US Army style and it's got these things like these things to tie on here these brackets feels really solid you've got a footstep here and you can see how the back folds down here steel wheels pretty basic it's got a rack on it it's got a roll bar there tie things on too pricing is great and also it stands out in the market and that is very very important in such a crowded market these days so i think this is going to do really well you look at the size of that turbo here and this is a street truck and you look at the whole detailing on that engine bay that is absolutely amazing and then we look at these work wheels down there and we've got massive six pop rembos there vented discs and bells the full works craft square carbon mirrors 
and inside you've got full race seats as well and on the back man look at those bottles this is for street racing this guy is going to be leaving the lights at some pace tonight when he comes out of here watching all the drag racing pumped up he is going to be rocking through bangkok there's a lot of supplier booze when toyota come into action you're always going to get a lot of suppliers coming along with them a lot of trade booze and we have people here and that's because there's two girls there apart from that there's not much else going on until the light goes down but i mean look at some of the details here i mean look at these clutch plates man that is like a work of art i'm just going to totally photobomb this guy who's shooting a girl with a conrod oh, we have more girls coming on and these are going to be as big an attraction tonight as the trucks Toyota aren't the big dominant OEM in Thailand for no reason. They know how the game is played and they have brought branded girls. They understand this game and what the fans want. In Thailand it never takes long before something gets modified. And I showed you those Hilux champs before. Here we have one that has been modified and you can see it's got a carbon Monza factory bonnet, carbon door mirrors, full carbon seats, Cosmos wheels and it's got like a big half cage in the back to strengthen it up. Now the open class trucks are lining up for their qualifying run. This is actually the second qualifying run. I wasn't here for the first, that was early this afternoon. But this one for starters is one of the pace setters and the STM Udon guys I've been focusing on as well. They're going for it. But you can see this truck. I mean, you can just see the dimensions. It is nothing like a stock truck at all. The carbon bonnet, these composite wings, everything composite. Drag wheels on here, drag brakes. This side exit exhaust, this thing looks a bit like a Hilux. In fact, I wouldn't even say it looks that much like a Hilux. Pure racing cockpit. This is going to be absolutely going for it. 9.1 for the Tom Dubai truck. We're under 10. The light still hasn't gone down. This has got a long way to go. But we're into single digits now. They have worked against the clock and they are ready for this qualifying run. And right here we have the team owner, Connut, overseeing things. And these boys have worked really hard to get this truck ready to go. They're going to warm the tyres up, so let's switch around. This really shows how purposeful, how focused on power these trucks are. Look at that air intake, it's just a long straight conical pipe straight into the turbo. The light is dropping fast. We've done the qualifying runs and you can see in the open class the trucks are coming apart. This guy, I can see the injectors out here, I can see fuel pipes out here. This is getting stripped down between qualifying and the final races. These are coming apart and right over here, this truck also in the open, they are working, it looks like, on the suspension. And what I like about these trucks as well is there is so much room to be able to work. It's coming up to 6.15, the sun is just setting behind me. And this place is just starting to get going, you can see behind me, the fans are arriving. When I came down here earlier on to show you the trucks, it was empty, no one wants to go in the sunlight. Now the fans are rolling out for this event, and the other thing is, it's free completely to get into. 
And that's also an attractive proposition on a Saturday night. I say this a lot in my videos, but one of the best things about Thailand are the sunsets. It's not just hardcore drag racing, hardcore builds. This high looks here. He's got the whole Care Bear thing going on. He's got a Care Bear sitting here as well. And I kind of like on the side here this white and these JP racing wheels in like a lime green and white outer side and the Brembos, of course, although I think those are clip ons. Kind of like this, it's quite outrageous. And then actually, if we look at this trim here, I have no idea what is going on with this trim, but it kind of fits the whole vibe of this Hilux. This is a Hilux and you can see the mixer on the roof and that's a bit of a giveaway and you can see the frame here and the deck tipped up so this is a tilting deck now I take you round the back man this is a Hilux music truck he drives along parks up swings the deck up and the sound comes out and here we have a slightly lesser music Hilux but you can see the back end of his truck this river is pretty nicely tricked out we've got carbon doors carbon three quarter carbon wing carbon bonnet monster shop on it ssr wheels endless brakes but what i actually like is the front end here i've not seen that body kit before but that kind of feels very ev to me so maybe this is kind of getting us in the mood for a hilux EV, which is going to happen at some point. In Thailand, they will drag race anything. If it'll move under its own power, they will take it down a quarter of a mile. Now it is time for the minivans. Absolutely mental, and I absolutely love this. If you look on the back, this is an ambulance minivan. But tonight, this is drag racing. And if we look, proper drag style on the rays here and the tires the pressures are right down ready to set the time driver with a crash helmet on and this ambulance has even got a forged carbon bonnet it's completely crazy absolutely love it and there is nothing that has ever gone down the strip with less aero than that absolutely mental the crowd love it, I love it, it's just one of those things about Thai drag racing, it's so epic. I'm going to go up a bit because I've got to show you from the front how they go off. when you make video or take photos of drag cars you kind of want to be down the back because you want to get the rear wheels smoking that is the money shot but when the vans come out you want to be up here because when they take off the front end lifts up it's mental so i've come up here to show you that A minivan with all the seats in the back, road ready, doing a quarter of a mile in 12.9. One of the rules that is very consistent in a big rule sport is the minimum weight. And before they go out on the strip, they get weighed. This looks absolutely menacing, completely plain black in this low light, full on modified drag build the only stick apart from toyota we've got is usa racing this is quite a dark night the open class trucks are lining up for the showdown run and you can see there are a lot of people here this is the top of the tree in this event the big beast the monsters this is the one everyone comes to see and everyone looks at the clock it all rides on this and here is the voice of Toyota Motorsport as long as I have been in Thailand if you come to a Toyota event 
you will see, you will hear this guy go to see you come down. If you live in Thailand, these loading frames on the back of Hilux is absolutely ubiquitous. You particularly see them in the countryside where they'll load stuff like hay, they'll load durian, they'll load pineapple, all kinds of fruit and vegetables sky high behind these. Now we have a category for these. You can see you've got one, two, and three with these backs on getting ready to drag. At any race meeting, this is a problem. Someone's dumped a lot of oil. And it would seem that patch of oil I just saw is not the big problem. Look here. He has dumped oil all the way down the starting area. And the workers have got a big job here and big bags of rags as they try to clean all this oil up off the starting area. So we have a delay. A pickup with all that weight on the back. 15 seconds dead. And now we have the vans back again. So from pickups with frame backs on them to minivans, now we have the van backs. We've just hit quarter past ten. Final run for the open machines. This is the highlight. So that's it, I'm out of here. And I also want to say a big thank you to the organizers because it's super nice, super helpful. It's a well-organized event. Toyota put something together, it's great. So I just want to say a big thanks for all their support. And I'm out of here, I'm heading back home. Super Leo!